Self-building bridges. This happens about once a year. I just wake up and I really want to build a self-building bridge. There's something about them as a redstone build that are just incredibly satisfying. I've built them in the nether. I've built them in the overworld using the carpet mod. A big YouTuber then brazenly stole that build and everyone got very angry. And now I'm going to build them in the overworld, making use of no mods. This is pure vanilla Minecraft. I really hope this works. Now this can't really work like the previous self-building bridges in that I can't actually generate the blocks that are going to be used for the bridge inside of the flying machine. Instead I have to generate them beforehand and then almost 3D prints the bridge. The flying machine is going to go back and forth dropping bits of the bridge off. So the first piece of the puzzle is working out how I can build a self-resetting flying machine. This is not something I've ever constructed before. I have no clue how to build them. We need to make sure that something on this side can then re-trigger the observer when they crash into one another. You see when a flying machine collides with a wall it compresses itself but the issue is it also compresses itself as it's flying for a short space of time. So we need to differentiate between the short space of time colliding with itself and and the long space of time colliding with an object. I want it known that this is a stupid idea but I'm just I have to try these things out. I'm working things out here. Yeah, maybe three observers in a row. Okay, it breaks the whole thing. I actually managed to separate the sticky piston from the slime block, which is quite difficult to do accidentally. What about if I was to do something like this? Okay, so it does work. Oh, <laughs> that was close. That was actually weirdly close. What if instead of using a piston, I use a redstone lamp? Okay, it flies. What? I was not expecting to be able to do that so fast. <laughs> kind of quite proud of myself here. I'm very late to the party on self-resetting flying machines, but I'm happy to be at the party. And now I have our bridge places in place. So let's see. Is this machine going to work? Yes, it is. So let's build up our docking station. All right, I'm going to clear out a little bit of space in this hillside then back our flying machine into it. Oh, I've built it at the wrong height. Quick! <laughs> no! How did I mess this up? Oh, this was absolutely meant to be the easy bit. So that's all good. Now we just need to generate the blocks for our bridge. And to do that, I'm just going to make a simple stone generator. Except it may not actually be that simple because I can't have stone here because that will touch the stone blocks breaking the flying machine. And that is still a problem if I push the whole system back because there will still be stone blocks here. And then if there's not stone blocks here, then the water will flow out and we won't get any stone being generated. So I think just to massively overcomplicate things, I'm going to have to have a double piston extender which will push our stone in place place and then also pistons facing upwards here which will stop the water from flowing out. Now how smart can I be with the wiring of this redstone contraption? I think I can link all of these things together. I could not link all of those things together. But then I did manage to link all of those things together. It was just one block bigger than I would have liked it to have been. But that being said, it is incredibly satisfying to watch. I mean... How cool is that? So this is where our water goes. This is where our lava goes. And now we should have ourselves a fully working stone generator. That is all working perfectly. So this will fire four times. That will give us all of the blocks for the door and that will allow us to push out our bridge. I just need to build another module of these so we maximize our push limit. Then I need to build up a circuit that will pulse this thing four times when our slime block flying machine arrives back in the garage. And that involves a 15 tick redstone clock because that's the duration of time that it takes for stone to be generated in a stone generator. And then we need a pulse extender to make sure that that redstone clock actually pulses four times. And then that pulse extender is connected up to this block right here which will detect when the flying machine has come back in. We might be actually ready for our first test. I will be absolutely amazed if this even remotely works. Okay, so the stone is coming out. We should get four bits of stone. Well, this is looking very good. Oh. <laughs> no, stone generator, stop. <laughs> That's not going well. <laughs> yeah, definitely need a T flip flop down here. That is that is absolutely needed. So hopefully that should fix the problem and now everything should be functioning properly. So our stone generator should generate and then stop generating as soon as the flying machine is flying. Which it looks like it is done. So now this thing should drop off the stone at the end here and then go back and gather up some more stone. This is a very exciting thing to watch. I'm kind of nervous. 
I, I don't know what's going to happen here. In theory, everything should be working properly. This is looking good. This is looking good. It looks like it's all working properly. I actually think we've made something functional here. My goodness, it even fills in the entire bridge. Look at this. I wonder what happens now. Is it just going to go back and forth? Yeah, it's probably just going to go back and forth, right? So a slightly awkward ending sequence, but we can easily fix that. Now we need to do the decoration bits. As cool as this flat bridge is, I kind of want it to have some guardrails. So that means I have to build an end detector, which I've just done. Now, because I want a fancy alternating handrail, I've actually had to do something quite smart with this flying machine. So this sticky piston should pick up all of the blocks then this sticky piston should pick up alternating blocks. So we should get a nice zigzagging design. So let's see if it actually functions. Over here, I've got a rather wonderful little island that I want to travel to. And over here, I've got the machine that should hopefully take me there. Now, I could just ride a flying machine to do it. Or, you know, if I'm that late in the game where I'm able to build this stuff, I could probably fly with my Elytra, but instead I want to build a bridge. But I don't want to be the one that builds the bridge, so I've built a machine that builds the bridge. If I press this button right here, everything will begin to kick into action, the stone will start to be generated, and our flying machine will start dropping the blocks off. So here it goes. <laughs> It is transporting the segment of the bridge across. This is going to take a really long time, isn't it? Why did I put the island so far away? It's approaching. It's about to make contact. Hopefully it'll just crash into it and then return. Excellent. Okay, the first segment of the bridge has been dropped off. We still have all of this area to fill in. I think this will probably work better as a time lapse. I don't know what it is about my brain, but for some reason I can't look away from this sort of thing. It's like when someone posts a video of them 3D printing something. I, I, I like... That is absolute kryptonite for my brain. It's my eyeballs are fixated on the screen. I wonder if that's the case with you. We're getting towards the final segments now. The final little bits are going in. Our bridge is almost constructed. This is still ridiculously satisfying, isn't it? Stone generators. Right, we've made a connection. Here goes. This is the final cycle. So that will go across. And then here goes. <laughs> here goes our little, our little handrail constructor. Oh, that looks so good. That has actually worked out so incredibly well. So we've got ourselves, we've got the bridge, and now it's been made safe in a cool way by this machine right here. So that's going to make its way across over to the island. I hope it doesn't destroy the island. There's, there's kind of nothing that's going to stop it. Look at this thing, though. This bridge is built entirely by redstone. Everything was constructed over here. Now, did it take me many hours to construct? Yes. Has it taken a very long time to construct a very simple bridge? Yes. But has it been a lot cooler than me doing it myself? Absolutely. I honestly have no idea what's going to happen when it contacts this island. I didn't really think this far ahead. The one thing I did make sure of is I've got enough space to walk under it if it does just crash into it. So it'll just be a nice little arch at the end. <laughs> Here it goes. And we have made it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Everything made it to the island safe and sound. And look, we've even got the beginnings of a structure here. How cool is that, though? In vanilla Minecraft, no mods, no movable tile entities or anything like that. This was all done the old-fashioned way. And I am incredibly pleased with this. What an awesome redstone contraption. I've really enjoyed recording this today. This has been like an old-school redstone video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!